Numbers chapter 9. And the Lord spake unto Moses in the wilderness of Sinai, in the first month of the second year, after they were come out of the land of Egypt, saying, Let the children of Israel also keep the Passover at his appointed season. In the fourteenth day of this month, at even, ye shall keep it in his appointed season, according to all the rites of it, and according to all the ceremonies thereof shall ye keep it. And Moses spake unto the children of Israel, that they should keep the Passover. And they kept the Passover on the fourteenth day of the first month at even in the wilderness of Sinai. According to all that the Lord commanded Moses, so did the children of Israel. And there were certain men who were defiled by the dead body of a man, that they could not keep the Passover on that day. And they came before Moses and before Aaron on that day. And those men said unto him, We are defiled by the dead body of a man. Wherefore are we kept back that we may not offer an offering of the Lord in his appointed season among the children of Israel. And Moses said unto them, Stand still, and I will hear what the Lord will command concerning you. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, saying, If any man of you or of your posterity shall be unclean by reason of a dead body, or be in a journey afar off, yet he shall keep the Passover unto the Lord. The fourteenth day of the second month at even they shall keep it, and eat it with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. They shall leave none of it unto the morning, nor break any bone of it. According to all the ordinances of the Passover, they shall keep it. But the man that is clean, and is not in a journey, and forbeareth to keep the Passover, even the same soul shall be cut off from among his people, because he brought not the offering of the Lord in his appointed season. That man shall bear his sin. And if a stranger shall sojourn among you, and will keep the Passover unto the Lord according to the ordinance of the Passover, and according to the manner thereof, so shall he do. Ye shall have one ordinance, both for the stranger and for him that was born in the land. And on the day that the tabernacle was reared up, the cloud covered the tabernacle, namely the tent of the testimony, and at even there was upon the tabernacle, as it were, the appearance of fire until the morning. So it was alway. The cloud covered it by day, and the appearance of fire by night. And when the cloud was taken up from the tabernacle, then after that the children of Israel journeyed, and in the place where the cloud abode, there the children of Israel pitched their tents. At the commandment of the Lord the children of Israel journeyed, and at the commandment of the Lord they pitched. As long as the cloud abode upon the tabernacle, they rested in their tents. And when the cloud tarried long upon the tabernacle many days, then the children of Israel kept the charge of the Lord and journeyed not. And so it was, when the cloud was a few days upon the tabernacle, according to the commandment of the Lord, they abode in their tents, and according to the commandment of the Lord they journeyed. And so it was, when the cloud abode from even until the morning, and that the cloud was taken up in the morning, then they journeyed. Whether it was by day or by night that the cloud was taken up, they journeyed. Or whether it were two days or a month or a year that the cloud tarried upon the tabernacle, remaining their own, the children of Israel abode in their tents, and journeyed not. But when it was taken up, they journeyed. At the commandment of the Lord they rested in the tents, and at the commandment of the Lord they journeyed. They kept the charge of the Lord at the commandment of the Lord by the hand of Moses. Numbers chapter 10 And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Make thee two trumpets of silver, of a whole piece shalt thou make them, that thou mayest use them for the calling of the assembly and for the journeying of the camps. And when they shall blow with them, all the assembly shall assemble themselves to thee at the door of the tabernacle of the congregation. And if they blow but with one trumpet, then the princes, which are heads of the thousands of Israel, shall gather themselves unto thee. When you blow in an alarm, then the camps that lie on the east parts shall go forward. When you blow an alarm the second time, then the camps that lie on the south side shall take their journey. They shall blow an alarm for their journeys. But when the congregation is to be gathered together, ye shall blow, but ye shall not sound an alarm. And the sons of Aaron the priest shall blow with the trumpets, and they shall be to you for an ordinance forever throughout your generations. And if ye go to war in your land against the enemy that oppresseth you, then ye shall blow an alarm with the trumpets, and ye shall be remembered before the Lord your God, and ye shall be saved from your enemies. Also in the day of your gladness, and in your solemn days, and in the beginnings of your months, ye shall blow with the trumpets over your burnt offerings, and over the sacrifices of your peace offerings, that they may be to you for a memorial before your God. I am the Lord your God. And it came to pass on the twentieth day of the second 
month in the second year that the cloud was taken up from off the tabernacle of the testimony. And the children of Israel took their journeys out of the wilderness of Sinai, and the cloud rested in the wilderness of Paran, and they first took their journey according to the commandment of the Lord by the hand of Moses. In the first place went the standard of the camp of the children of Judah, according to their armies, and over his host was Nashon the son of Amminadab. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Issachar was Nethanel the son of Zuar. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Zebulun was Eliab the son of Helon. And the tabernacle was taken down, and the sons of Gershon and the sons of Merari set forward bearing the tabernacle, and the standard of the camp of Reuben set forward according to their armies, and over his host was Elizer the son of Shadur. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Simeon was Shalumiel the son of Zerushadai. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Gad was Eliasaph the son of Duel. And the Kohathites set forward bearing the sanctuary, and the other did set up the tabernacle against they came. And the standard of the camp of the children of Ephraim set forward according to their armies. And over his host was Elishama, the son of Amihud. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Manasseh was Gamaliel, the son of Pedahazer. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Benjamin was Abidin, the son of Gideoni. And the standard of the camp of the children of Dan set forward, which was the re-reward of all the camps throughout their hosts. And over his host was Ahizer, the son of Amashadai. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Asher was Pegiel, the son of Akron. And over the host of the tribe of the children of Naphtali was Ahira, the son of Enon. Thus were the journeyings of the children of Israel according to their armies when they set forward. And Moses said unto Hobab, the son of Reguel, the Midianite, Moses' father-in-law, We are journeying unto the place of which the Lord said, I will give it you. Come thou with us, and we will do thee good, for the Lord hath spoken good concerning Israel. And he said unto him, I will not go, but I will depart to mine own land and to my kindred. And he said, Leave us not, I pray thee, for as much as thou knowest how we are to encamp in the wilderness, and thou mayest be to us instead of us. And it shall be, if thou go with us, yea, it shall be, that what goodness the Lord shall do unto us, the same will we do unto thee. And they departed from the mount of the Lord three days' journey, and the ark of the covenant of the Lord went before them in three days' journey to search out a resting place for them. And the cloud of the Lord was upon them by day, and when they went out of the camp, and it came to pass, when the ark set forward, that Moses said, Rise up, Lord, and let thine enemies be scattered. And let them that hate thee flee before thee. And when it rested, he said, Return, O Lord, unto the many thousands of Israel. Revelation chapter 4 After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking with me, which said, Come up hither, and I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the Spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one sat on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, and sight like unto an emerald. And round about the throne were four and twenty seats. And upon the seats I saw four and twenty elders sitting, clothed in white raiment. And they had on their heads crowns of gold. And out of the throne proceeded lightnings and thunderings and voices. And there were seven lamps of fire burning before the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. And before the throne there was a sea of glass like unto crystal. And in the midst of the throne and round about the throne were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. And the first beast was like a lion, and the second beast like a calf, and the third beast had a face as a man, and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about them, and they were full of eyes within, and they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And when those beasts give glory and honor and thanks to him that sit on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sit on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever, and cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Thou art worthy, O Lord, to receive glory and honor and power, for thou hast created all things, and for thy pleasure they are and were created. Revelation chapter 5 
And I saw on the right hand of him that sat on the throne a book written within and on the backside sealed with seven seals. And I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, Who is worthy to open the book and to loose the seals thereof? And no man in heaven, nor in earth, neither under the earth, was able to open the book, neither to look thereon. And I wept much, because no man was found worthy to open and to read the book, neither to look thereon. And one of the elders saith unto me, Weep not, behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book, and to loose the seven seals thereof. And I beheld, and lo, in the midst of the throne, and of the four beasts, and in the midst of the elders, stood a lamb, as it had been slain, having seven horns and seven eyes, which are the seven spirits of God, sent forth into all the earth. And he came and took the book out of the right hand of him that sat upon the throne. And when he had taken the book, the four beasts and four and twenty elders fell down before the Lamb, having every one of them harps and golden vials full of odors, which are the prayers of saints. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to God by thy blood out of every kindred and tongue and people and nation, and hast made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. And I beheld, and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne, and the beasts and the elders, and the number of them was ten thousand times ten thousand and thousands of thousands, saying with a loud voice, Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. And every creature which is in heaven and on the earth and under the earth and such as are in the sea and all that are in them heard I saying, Blessing and honor and glory and power be unto him that sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb forever and ever. And the four beasts said, Amen. And the four and twenty elders fell down and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. Job chapter 20. Then answered Zophar the Namathite and said, Therefore do my thoughts cause me to answer, and for this I make haste. I have heard the check of my reproach, and the spirit of my understanding causeth me to answer. Knowest thou not? This of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Though his excellency mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream, and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more, neither shall his place any more behind him. His children shall seek to please the poor, and his hands shall restore their goods. His bones are full of the sin of his youth, which shall lie down with him in the dust. Though wickedness be sweet in his mouth, though he hide it under his tongue, though he spare it and forsake it not, but keep it still within his mouth. Yet his meat in his bowels is turned, it is the gall of asps within him. He has swallowed down riches, and he shall vomit them up again. God shall cast them out of his belly. He shall suck the poison of asps. The viper's tongue shall slay him. And he shall not see the rivers, the floods, the brooks of honey and butter. That which he labored for shall he restore, and shall not swallow it down. According to his substance shall the restitution be. And he shall not rejoice therein, because he hath oppressed and hath forsaken the poor, because he hath violently taken away an house which he builded not. Surely he shall not feel quietness in his belly. He shall not save of that which he desired. There shall none of his meat be left. Therefore shall no man look for his goods. In the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him when he is about to fill his belly. God shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating. He shall flee from the iron weapon, and the bow of steel shall strike him through. It is drawn and cometh out of the body, yea, the glittering sword cometh out of his gall. Terrors are upon him. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. The heaven shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. The increase of his house shall depart, and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath. This is the portion of a wicked man from God, and the heritage appointed unto him by God.